All right. <laughs> you ready for this? I'm ready. You ready? Put this knee up. Bend it. Okay. So you go under. This is the affected knee. Okay. Or sorry, this is the affected hip, right? The non-affected hip is over here. You go under with your arm, and that's your arm bar locked, right? This is the hip that's out. And I hold that there. And this, the force that I'm going up equals the force that I'm going down so his pelvis won't come off. Do you feel Oh, sorry, do you feel that? <laughs> yeah, and so that's how you do it, just with strong, slow leg motions. And you hold this here to prevent this from going up. Okay? You can't see? So if we could switch to the other side so that other people can see. Yeah. So now this time it'll be his right hip that's dislocated. Bring the knee up high. I have my back to him, so I'm not twisting while I'm doing this. I go under, keep your back straight, the leg stays like this, and then you lift. And I could lift them right up, but you lift them up and that pops it back in. And that way this pressure keeps his pelvis down, this locks it and allows me to pull up, and that's called the Whistler technique, and that can pop in a dislocated posterior hip.